Hi everyone, my name is Roger. My channel is Roger's World and Adventures, and today, like every Saturday, I am with Frank Kington, the Wise Entrepreneurs, and he also has his channel, Frankie Kington. Okay. Hello, and, Frank. Hi. And today we are going to talk about how do we about scam? Why is that? Because, in my opinion, we seem to live in a world where everyone is trying to get one over all the time. It's present all the time. Okay. So I'm going to give you a, an example of when that change company, not going to name any company. Okay. A change company from one mobile company to another. Okay. And for the, for a slightly lower price, I got something else with the, with the mobile. However, it was two different contract, but at the time, at the time, the, the guy, the person who was doing the, uh, the, the sale with me was so eager to get the, to get it sorted as soon as possible. It just said, sign there, there and there and there, which I did. But I could have taken the responsibility to say, no, let me read the contract first. It's only when I got home that I realized there was two contracts, one for the uh, SIM card and one for the tablet, which I didn't really need. Okay. Saying that the two together were still a bit cheaper than from the pro uh, previous uh, company. But that's not the point. The point is for a simple things like that, if people are actually prepared to, to snooker you, to gain something for the short term. Now, can you imagine that's only uh, something small. It's only this. We're talking about this. Yeah. Now, can you imagine if we can just try to, to get uh, one over somebody to just get a bit more commission on that, on that day and not even given the full um, benefit to the potential customer. A result of Please. it. Pardon? I'll be honest to you. Yeah. Be and honest then, to you. That's yeah. right. And as a result of which, I have decided that in two years' time, when the contract is off, I will change company. I'm not going to stay with them. Why should I stay with a company that formed me off? Why should I? Yeah. So that, not being honest. No, not being not good. honest. No. Not good. And so it's not very nice. As a result, if the guy had been nice, maybe he would have had perhaps a slightly smaller commission. However, I would have praised him. I would have said, thank you for showing me that there is no two week of Korean love period when you buy from a shop. I appreciate that. And then if I had said yes at the time, because of his kindness, then that's up to me then. Yeah. Said, Who knows? You might have bought some in his shop. Actually, you're right there because spend some more money in the shop. Yeah, I think I think I think you're right there, Frankie. Because I would have because he didn't give me the time to to look at that contract, and I could have said, "Oh, sir, can I just read it, please?" But I didn't. Send it, send it, send it, send it. and I did. Okay, so I would say, as um, and you're right, uh, Frankie. Who knows if he had been kind and told me. Maybe I would have said, oh, wow, oh, that, nice guy. Oh, maybe I need to upgrade my, my telephone a little bit. And I could have said, oh, what else do you have at a good price? Yeah, he could have ended up with that, but he didn't. As we well, oh, wish, now that's it. Yeah, so, okay, two years time, people might think, oh, it's going to forget. No, I'm not. I'm not going to forget. And, and next time I go to a shop, I make sure and make sure that I read the contract from A to Z, even if it's taking me 15 minutes for it. Read the small print. Always important read. to read the small yeah. print on read everything. Guys out there, read the small print. And I, I was one of those people who wanted to encourage people on the high street to stay in employment. In, in that, I could just contribute, do my little contribution by, rather than buying the uh, SIM card online, I just decided to go to the shop because it would keep somebody in work. And now, it's, now it's making me think, because when I found a company, they said, oh, when you buy online, you have a two-week colleague off period. 
because you don't know whether you are going to like what you buy because you buy online. Yeah. Maybe that place was having a bad day. I thought I need to make a quick book. I've not made any money or I've not made my commission today. It Possibly. could be under pressure. Yeah. It could be under pressure. No, I well, didn't think about that one, but it could have been under pressure. Yeah, you're right. And uh, no, absolutely. And, uh, but the point is, if, if that person uh, had been, so I don't blame him. I'm not saying I sh uh, I'm shitting my responsibility to that guy. So next time I will be more aware of it. Say, so, right, okay, I'm going in there. Whatever they're going to suggest to me to get, I will definitely take a lot more time for it. Yeah, so tip uh, out there, guy. And that would encourage me to buy more online, which I, in a way I don't really like, but we are moving in a world where we need to do more stuff online, whether we, even if we don't like it, it's, it's moving that way, it's going that way. So, but anyway, so they've lost, they lost my trust. So I've escalated the dispute to the ombudsman and I'll, I'll see whether they are going to agree with me or not. If, if, they, if they are great and then hopefully that's going to protect other people. Yeah, because if, the, if they can do that for something uh, uh, not too expensive overall, they could do it for something a lot more expensive. Let's say, if, let's say somebody signed uh, some, something like 70 pound the, and they can get out of it because they don't have a cooling off period. Somebody a bit vulnerable or, or stuff like that. No, it's not right. Yeah, so we are um, so correct. See, yeah, so see what happened with that. So please, guy, out. Very valuable, very valuable information. Very yeah. valuable information. Yeah, so please, guy, out there, just read the small print. That's what I would say. Read the small prints. And then that way, uh, that way you can make an informed decision. And frankly, in terms of how do we avoid scam? <laughs> how do we avoid it? Can we avoid it? How do we avoid it? And uh, scam. Great, great information there, Roger. What you've just given us all really important. We've all put up with something like that in the past, haven't we? Or been scammed, or feel like we've been hard done by, or someone's trying to make a quick book out of us. So it's really important to stand our ground. I honestly believe in what they used to say in the past. Whether well, they still say it, I don't know. But they always used to say it as a consumer or a customer. Or Joe Public on the street, the customer is always right. Yeah, and then... The customer is yeah. always right. So it's up to the companies and the big organisations to give the customers and the clients the best customer service possible because they are always right. How to avoid a scam. I'm going to talk about situations where I've been through as well, because I do a lot of things online, like Rosé said before. I do online banking. I do Amazon. do a lot of stuff online. You know, I deal with a lot of different companies, big companies online, because I buy a lot of stuff. But um, be very, very wary of scams. And I point out a few points about scams online especially to do with banking or internet banking. Oh, yes. Because if a account. bank yeah. is asking you for details of your account online in an email, never put your details online in an email, online on your, in your account or your email account, because 99% out of 100, it will be a scam. Oh, yeah, definitely. And they've got your details because you want to take money out of your account. Oh, yes. It's yeah. happened to... It's not happened to me, but I've been aware of it. It's a site called Phishing. That's P-H-I-S-I-N-G. I think it's called Phishing at Yahoo.com. And they look out for people who've been scammed online through these bank accounts, trying to check people's details, realising it's not that bank account, and it's scammers or it's criminals online trying to take money out of people. Oh, yes. I mean, so that... Please be aware of that. Yeah, and then, uh, okay. like, like, for example, they send you an invoice, like a full invoice, and that happened to my mom and, and dad uh, a, a few months ago. My dad told me, uh, and uh, it's happening in, in every country, and this one is in France. It was, it was an invoice about, I think it was a, an energy company, then again, I won't mention which company it is, 
I can't remember anyway, so that's not the point. But she, they did receive an invoice. Right, and it, it looked so, so professional and from the company itself. And my mom, um, my dad said, my, my, his wife, my mom noted, uh, no, sorry, noticed a spelling mistake in the, in, on the invoice. There was a Wow. Yeah, she noticed a spelling mistake. So they actually mm. phoned the company and they said, no, don't pay because that's a false invoice. It's not coming from us. And, uh, and uh, because I mean, what they've done very, cle uh, very cleverly, rather than then sending an invoice for a thousand pounds or two thousand pounds, what they do now, they send invoices for about, let's say, 20 euros, 25 euros, so 25 pounds, 35 pounds, yeah? So it's more. So a lot of people will, re will receive that. Oh, it's only 25 pounds. Oh, I'll, I'll pay that. Because a lot of people don't check. A lot of people don't check, unfortunately. And then they are convinced they've been paying, like let's say 35 euros to the company they are with, but they're not. And then, and I get lots of email like that here in this country. Uh, I get uh, about my Amazon Prime um, renewal and stuff, but I am not with Amazon Prime. So how can they send me a renewal? <laughs> I'm not with them. <laughs> I buy from Amazon now and again, but I don't need but he, that. I don't but about your information. Yeah. But about your information. I get texts as well. To be aware. Oh, I get texts as well. Like, to be aware. Uh, yeah, oh, it's good to be aware. I get texts. Oh, uh, thank you for registering with our company. You can earn so much an hour. Please click here. And I know that's a scam straight away, so I just delete them. Because if I open it, you never know. They might just get yeah my, my information and details and this and that and the other you're and right then, just opening emails can be dangerous as well yeah on your mobile phones opening something which again can be a scam and they can take yeah. top off your mobile phones yeah oh, your mobile can. phones yeah it's just a mini computer isn't it it's just a mini computer so yeah. people will take information up there if they know they can take it yeah i was reading an article today of a company that's uh, set up, I can't remember how long ago now, and they do a lot of the marketing on Instagram, which was an article I read today. And they actually, they had 29,000 followers, and the bigger company has been hacked, so they lost everything. And um, anyway, I think they've managed to, uh, to get back on track again. I don't know the full story, but by the looks of it, it's something that they managed to, to, to sort it out, yeah. And, uh, but it's heartbreaking when they've been building that company for so long, they've got, it takes time to build uh, um, followers, you know, especially when it goes into thousands, it takes time, it takes perseverance and all that. So 29,000 people, let's go like that. And then it's, uh, yeah. Wow. And then I was, th I was saying to a friend of mine today, Scott, I was saying to him, I do not understand it. People, if they are so clever, to do something like that and hacking in people's account and all the rest of it. What don't they use their creativity to do something positive? Interesting, isn't it, Rose? Because when you think they have so much, they must be very good at doing what they do. Yeah. They, could they, they use it in a positive way? Yeah. They, but they could, more than likely, they could, yeah. They could. The really, film called, do you remember that film called Catch Me As You Can? Frank Abignali was a con man. No, I haven't seen that one. Well, when, when he got caught, because he was a professional con man, he used to con everybody. Right. And when he got caught, the FBI used him to do fraud and check for fraud money and fraud laundering going around, around the world. Oh, yeah. So they used his skills for him to go into the FBI to check money laundering. Incredible, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, exactly. You so, know? Yeah. So there's people who hack into computer systems. But then, they could put that... There's people who ha hack into computer systems. Yes. If they could use that creatively and create a job out of it for computer security, they yeah. might save a big organization or a big company. Oh, absolutely. I mean, be uh, really creative with what they're doing. Yeah, because, you know, create value out of it. Yeah, because I was listening, I was watching a, a YouTube video the other day about a young lady who ran a, a business on, on, on YouTube and extremely good at it. And uh, she did explain that at some point her uh, YouTube channel was hacked and she lost everything. 
but she's back on track now because she's got a rate of thousands of followers now, but she, she's already back on track. How she did it, I don't know. But she lost. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just act and just gone. So can you imagine? It happens, Rose. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, but it does. I mean, uh, even on bank accounts, I mean, I'm having this dispute now because I have a direct debit, but sometimes you can set up a direct debit and it can be in the other end of the company. So in other words, you can't cancel the direct debit. All you can do is email them to cancel it. But when the company's not responding to your cancellation, there's a problem. So what I would do is speak to your bank to get them to fill out a disputes application form. Mm -hmm. So you can fill that in and get the bank to see if they can cancel the direct debit. Oh, I see. Sometimes it's not in your name. Yeah. So the bank will do that. Right. So anyone having that problem, get the bank to do a disputes form and they will try and cancel the cancellation and claim all your money back what the company owes you. But sometimes companies don't give you their services or their products. And it means yeah. you have to go through that procedure. So please, guys, do that. Yeah. Speak and to your bank and they will get everything back and the money back yeah. and get the can debit, debit cancelled. Okay, Roger. Okay, I think that's uh, some very good tips here. So take the time when you go into a shop or wh whatever you do, take the time to read the small print. Um, and also, uh, unfortunately, uh, people who are selling you stuff or whatever they want to sell you, they don't always have your interest at heart, and they should do. Exactly. Because if, if that guy had my interest at heart, in his commission would have been smaller for the time being, but I would have pressed him. And I would have mentioned it to other people, like I mentioned it to you now, and the other friends. So really, they would have gained customers in the long run. But no, I'm just saying, okay. Treat people how you want to be treated. If yeah. you treat people good, people treat you good. Yeah. Anyway, so just be aware of what's going on. Make sure that you uh, erase the any suspicious uh, uh, text about owning this and owning that and the other. And I even received a phone call from supposedly to be from the land revenue telling me you haven't paid this, you haven't paid that. If you don't pay uh, press one, and if you don't pay one hundred pounds within the next half hour, uh, you are going to be arrested. And uh, it's obviously it's not a very nice call because hey, arrested, what for? So I just put the phone down. Um, and then, uh, interestingly speaking, I don't get these calls as uh, nowhere as near as I used to. Anyway, so guys, just be aware. Make sure you look after yourself. And if you enjoyed this kind of video and want to see some more uh, contents uh, of different type on Rogers World and Adventures and also on uh, Frankie Channel, Frankie Kinton, uh, please subscribe the button below and just for and just search for Frankie Kinton and you'll find this channel on YouTube. Uh, thank you, guys. Please, guys, yeah, don't hand out any information, bank account details, or anything online if you do not know the person. And uh, that is a big head of don't do it, please. I just want to protect you all, ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls. Yeah, and then I would say the RBS said don't give us anything online either. You know, it's probably better to speak to them, I would say. Yeah, do you agree with that, Frankie? It'd be better to speak to them. Yeah, just speak to who you need to speak to. Yeah, yeah, your providers or your bank. Yeah, speak to them. Yeah. Okay, stay safe. Okay. Thank you guys. Thanks for listening to us. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to speaking to you guys soon and take care of the warm and be safe and take care and be vigilant. Okay.